Good afternoon, Kathy Beatty here, Divorce Support Anonymous, Breakthrough Christmas, day number 28. Glad you're with me today, and for those of you who join later and don't make it live, that's okay. I just appreciate you showing up and giving some thought to the words that are mentioned, and it's always been my hope and my prayer that this, <clears throat> excuse me, see if my voice decides to stay today, um, my my hope and my prayer that you would find something in this broadcast throughout the month of December that would encourage you, that would inspire you, that would help you have that breakthrough. And of course, identifying, visualizing is what we need to do first. Today, let's talk about uh, some truth in that uh, one of the, the thoughts that came to mind was this. Uh, a quote by Irene Casarola. <laughs> I'm not sure how I pronounce, if you pronounce it that way. But the, she states, the pen that writes your life story must be held in your own hand. At this point in the month of December, we're on day 28. And you may have had some thoughts, I hope and pray you've had some thoughts of inspiration, of, of wanting to have that breakthrough. But truly, the choices and the control is with you. And you may say, well, you know, if this person would just change or if circumstances would just change, I could have that breakthrough. Or if there were only more money, if I only had more money, a different job, lived in a different area, then I could get my breakthrough. Friends, it really doesn't work that way. The breakthrough is within your control and your authority to do that. Amazingly, to our own detriment, God gives us choice, a lot of choice in the life that we live, the relationships that we have, the people who we surround ourselves with. We have choices. So today on December 28th, I want you to know the choice is yours. It's not your circumstances, it's yours. And as all of these thoughts this week have come to you, this month have come to you, I hope you have plucked a few of them out and decided I am going to act on these choices, on these topics, these areas that I really need to get a handle on. Because the choice truly is yours. And maybe, just maybe, you are waiting for someone else or something else to come into your life to make that change. It's not happening. No one is coming to your front door, knocking on the door and saying, here's your life. No. The scriptures say, struggle, work out your own salvation. It's a struggle. Work out your own life. Make those choices that matter in your life, that are going to change your life. Not just think about it, not just identify it. it, requires action. Remember, we talked yesterday about being ready. And one of those was the A stood for action. We have to take some action. But you don't go it alone. You surround yourselves with co uh, co-soldiers, people who are going, are walking a journey as well. People who want a vision for their life. They want it to be powerful and purposeful. And those people in your life who don't, maybe it's time to just let them go, to put up those boundaries. D. 
I adore you. You have so much wisdom. Burdened by the consequences of the past, hopes being dashed. Yes, we can so relate to that. All of us have had those, those hopes, those plans, those expectations dashed. And yet there is opportunity to create new hopes and new dreams, this time with more experience. So we know a few things that don't work in our life. And that's okay. In fact, that's a good thing that we know some of the things that don't work in our life. Mercies are new every morning. God gives us another day to make chances, to make changes. We don't go alone. We find those people who are on the same journey and the same path. I want to uh, share just a couple of verses. This comes from Isaiah. Uh, whether you turn to the right or turn to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. If you understood this verse, it's amazing because God was really angry with Israel, his favored people, because they were turning his back, their backs on him. And he made a whole list about things that are going to happen. You are setting yourself up for failure. You're doing it all wrong. And yet in that same verse where he's telling them, you're going to get punishment, you're going to get consequences for your actions. He says to, to them, I'm going to follow you. I am not letting go of you. And so many times I repeat the phrase in my support groups, God is not divorcing you. God is not divorcing you. He longs to be that voice of reason. And he also says in that same uh, chapter, yet, in spite of all the things we have done in the past and why in the world God doesn't give up on me, I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. I have sabotaged many things in my mind, in my heart, in my life. But God, yet, longs to be gracious to me, to you. Therefore, he will rise up to show you compassion. He longs to be gracious to you. He longs to be the voice on the, the right or the left or whichever way you turn that says, this is the way, walk in it. Walk in this way. Because there you will find the pleasures that you seek. And I know I shared a verse before that in his right hand are pleasures forevermore. I love that. So we must keep in mind, we have the power and authority and the choices to make the changes we need to make in our life. Maybe that begins with boundaries. Maybe that begins with getting rid of some things, some um, ideas, the lies we believe getting rid of some clutter around us so we can focus more on the, the vision and the mission that we want for our life. So now's the time. It's time to continue to identify things. Yeah, true. But now's the time to start making those steps forward. Stepping out in faith doing the right things and waiting for good things to meet us there and God to meet us there. It really is up to you. Your circumstances, I've seen God work through really difficult circumstances. When people get their mind and heart focused, they have a vision, they begin to move forward. The pen that writes your life story must be held in your own hand. Other people want to write it for you. But they don't know you. They don't know your heart. They don't know your vision. It's in your hand. It's in your hand. Whether you turn to the right, you turn to the left. Your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it.